Spanish state-owned Navantia has recently offered the Philippine Navy a modified version of its S-80 Plus submarines. The offer is part of the Philippines' efforts to boost its maritime defense capabilities, especially in the face of tensions in the South China Sea. Navantia is offering a complete solution that includes two modern submarines, crew training, technology transfer, and favorable financial support for the Philippines. The advanced technologies of the S-80 submarines, such as the Air Independent Propulsion AIP, system, make them highly difficult to detect and ideal for missions such as reconnaissance and anti-submarine warfare. Spanish state-owned Navantia has offered the Philippine Navy a modified version of its S-80 Plus submarines as part of a $1.7 billion deal. The proposal includes two new S-80 class submarines, advanced training for Philippine naval crews, and technology transfer to support the development of the Philippine submarine force. Navantia is also offering favorable financial terms, such as a Spanish sovereign guarantee, which would allow for deferred payment until after the submarines are delivered, which is expected to take about seven to eight years. The S-80 Plus class submarines are notable for their Advanced Air Independent Propulsion AIP, system, which allows the submarine to remain submerged for up to three weeks without surfacing, greatly reducing its detectability. This makes the submarines a powerful tool for intelligence gathering, sea-to-land attacks and anti-submarine warfare. The submarines are equipped with a range of weapons including torpedoes, anti-ship missiles and can even be configured to launch Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles. The bid is seen as part of a broader effort to boost the Philippines' defense capabilities amid rising tensions in the South China Sea. Spanish shipbuilder Navantia was present at ADAS-2024, although their presence was dwarfed by their South Korean counterparts. Navantia only displayed two models of the vessels, the S-80 diesel electric submarine and the Avante 2200 patrol boat design. No scale models were shown of the proposed frigates or corvettes for the Philippine Navy or regional navies, including the one they are offering to Australia. Navantia has reportedly shown interest in offering a modified variant of its S-80 submarine design for the Philippine Navy's submarine requirements, although unlike Hanwha Navy and Ocean, it appears Navantia has not made any serious pitches. What is surprising is the presence of the Avante 2200 submarine, given that the Philippine Navy is pursuing new frigates and corvettes rather than patrol vessels. And while the Philippine Coast Guard is interested in additional patrol vessels, multirole response vessels, the scale model Navantia displayed does not reflect the Coast Guard's proposal. Navantia appears to be represented locally by another company that has made several representations to Navantia, including it pitching Navanasha products to the PN. Max Defense Philippines previously reported that top PN brass are indeed interested in Navantia's proposal including a planned relationship with a local shipbuilder to potentially build surface vessels and perform MRO for the PN. Navantia's offer of the S-80 Plus submarine to the Philippines reflects Spain's commitment to helping the country build a strong submarine force. With advanced technology and attractive financial backing, this offer could be a significant strategic opportunity for the Philippines to strengthen its defense in a challenging region. The adoption of these submarines will not only enhance the operational capabilities of the Philippine Navy, but also provide a significant deterrent to threats in the South China Sea.